How y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you how to make a GoPro floating underwater, I guess stick, you can call it. This is a piece of ratty ass PVC pipe that I had in the backyard festering for months. So, we're gonna turn it something like this with nothing but about a dollar worth of crap. So it gets started. Alright, so we wanna make it at least 12 inches long. Let's see how let's see how long that is. Okay, so that's 10 inches. So 10 inches is not a bad size. You know, for good measure, I'm gonna make it, you know, I'm a cheapskate. So let's, you know, why pay $60 for a, a piece of plastic that floats? You got a piece of PVC pipe sitting in the backyard not doing anything, you know what I'm saying? So, obviously this thing doesn't cut the straightest way so oh, this thing, this they cut straight at all so no biggie now We need to make this go into the hole for this. And obviously it's not much to go in there, but you need to make it uh, make it fit. So you just shove that in there. Get some sandpaper. It's uh, it's the things you use to do, to drive in a pilot hole on things. So I don't know. It's just easier to find center with it. So then we're gonna use my trusty uh, pop or whatever the hell you call that thing. Uh, Um, I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to do it without it because I can't find it. I don't know. My tools are a little bit everywhere. I was working on some other stuff and I got a mess. Oh, found it. Look in the drawer, Mr. Martin. All right, so we're gonna try to find as thinner as possible. Make sure that thing is in there. All right, so we got the pilot hole. So we got a little bit more in a pilot hole. Let me see if I can shake some of this off. All right, so now we switch tips because we want to use one the size of the actual screw. Uh, 
and I really don't know how big the screw is, so I just picked it up at the hardware store before I got home today. So, and then you drill through. There, nice hole. Test fit it. Flathead. And I believe this to be a 10 mil. 10 mil. Yep, it's 10 mil. So we're gonna use. I waste so much time looking for tools. I'm sorry. So continuing on, now that I found my tool, we are gonna make the base. So now we gotta find the center of this thing, which I need to clean this up first. And it's proving to be a pain in the butt cheeks. Right, so let's find, I know this is centered. So I just gotta find Center from up and down. And I believe that to be close enough. So we don't need this no more, so we can hang it up. We're gonna need this. Remember, it's a countersink screw, so we got to give it a little room for it to countersink. Finish the hole. And we test now. Okay, so the hole's the right size, but the screw not countersinking so we got to change our approach here and get a bigger no a bigger tool to be able to do the job too crazy I'm trying to make a the fruit sit too low because then you're gonna Okay. 
this one popping out of the chuck. Okay, try it again. I think that'll do it. There you go. Eh, I need a little more. Because if it, if it doesn't sit perfectly flush, the camera thing won't go on it. And besides, this is to give it a little reinforcement. That glue that I'm going to use, or that epoxy, that stuff ain't no joke. Okay, that'll, that'll work. So now, put the tools back in its thing. We don't need that anymore. Put that all away. So, the next thing we're gonna do is to mix a batch of that epoxy, not too much. So we can uh, glue this thing. Now let me try to clean this a little bit better. And again, I mean, the stresses this thing is going to be receiving are not going to be that great. So, I mean, it's not like you're going to be hanging off of it. That glue receives very well. And I got a piece of metal stuck in my thumb. A epoxy. I don't need that much. That will do. I don't know, my, my OCD does not allow me to not square this up with the thing and clean it. Like that, get your walk nut or whatever the hell you wanna call it. And you tighten the living crap out of it. Test fit it, it fits. Now we gotta get some glue. PVC glue will do just fine. Mm -hmm. 
my PVC glue is past its prime. So I'll put it on the inside of this because I don't want to mess my hands up. So I'm just going to put it in there. And it's flushed. And we can just hit it with the sandpaper and it'll, it'll even out. Put a healthy portion of that stuff on there. better the adhesion and you know you don't want your thing to fall apart flip it over screw everything's taped up The surface is clean and we are ready for paint. So this is the end result. I painted it and clear coated it with some, uh, actually I painted it with this and clear coated with acrylic lacquer. So it's impact resistant. They use it for helmets and stuff like that with a gloss. I didn't want a gloss on it, but it's glossy. So now this is Dill Dozer 1 and this is Mega Dozer. Mega Dill Dozer. Dill Dozer 2, I think. So now we're just going to let it cure and uh, that's it. See you next time. Like, share, please subscribe.